man, all of these epic games. This is going to be an amazing... What the fuck is this? You have to pay real fucking money? No. You pay money for the base game. Now you gotta pay money to get these generic fucking loot boxes. What the fuck gaming? Micro fucking transactions. This shit is the death of gaming. It will probably lead to the death of gaming. It's gonna lead to the death of gaming more than Battle Fucking Royale. I mean, to be honest, microtransactions have permeated the world for years, but gaming, hey, have invaded now. I mean, of course, all this generic bullshit, loot box, all that shit, is really, really, is really causing a rift between gamers. And, mind you, this is my opinion, but it's also based on factual evidence. Let's look at the facts, people. First off, I know you're all going to type down in the comments, but AJ, you don't have to buy the microtransactions, so what's your fucking problem, kiddo? Now, let's take a look at now get now microtransactions in games like Call of Duty and all that are yes, optional. But let's look at games that they aren't optional. A game that like for example, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. This game is re it, I've played the game, I have experience. You can buy an in-game currency for real money. Of course, you can also earn that in-game currency by playing games. Playing the game. And it's a really interesting game. But, you know those little healthy plants that you get? If for those of you who don't know, you'll I recommend watching some videos about PvZ Garden Warfare. But, I know a lot of you are wondering, like, what do I mean by the little healthy plants? Like, the little pea shooters and all that. But, those little plants, you have to get them in sticker packs. And the only way to get your sticker packs is to use the in-game currency to buy it. Now you can grind for hours and hours and hours trying to get the sticker packs you want. Or, you could pay real world money... And you could buy them. And you could buy the currency. And then instantly buy the sticker packs. I'm saying this because a lot of games have resorted to microtransactions as a way. And of course, a lot of the games that have are turning to literal shit. One example being Blo um, Call of Duty. Uh, not Call of Duty. I'm forgetting the name. Battlefront 2, which just came out last year. It hasn't even been a year and already... EA has been ripped to shit. Mind you, they made Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. So... And they also made Madden. Everyone remember that ultimate team from Madden NFL in 2015? And everyone's like, Oh shit, this is fucking cool! How do you get those... How do you get those players? And then, boom! Microtransactions. I mean... It's, microtransactions at first didn't bother me. Nowadays, they're becoming so fucking prevalent that it's just ruining gaming. And Battlefront 2, before they had to patch it, of course they had to patch it, was basically a bunch of stupid shit. I mean, it's ironic how in freaking Overwatch... The fucking microtransaction system was so flawed that they had to fucking patch it. They had to patch their own system. Science. It's not only an embarrassment on the gaming community, but microtransactions really do end up affecting gaming in the long run. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Let's take it one step at a time. Let's use a mobile game this time. So say you're playing Clash of Clans, or maybe Clash Royale. You want to get either one of those shiny chests or some extra resources. You could grind for those resources by playing by 
engaging by playing the single player campaign, engaging in multiplayer battles, etc., etc. Or, and you can also get gems, or you can use gems to pay for it, to get those resources. Now, you can either get those gems from, I don't know, uh, 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 <clears throat> randomly spawned everywhere, or you could use you could use money, real world money, to buy gems. I know this because I've seen YouTubers do it, and all the micro and I know what you're all gonna say. But AJ, you once again, you're probably gonna whine about how loot boxes are effect effectively optional. I already gave evidence to them not being optional. Loot boxes are a cancer on the gaming community. Microtransactions in general are a cancer on the gaming community. Gamers are starting to get sick of this shit. Which is why they're limiting my... As far as I know, they've really limited the microtransactions in Battlefront 2. So yeah, EA is still a bit fucked up. But hey, they're not Activision. The fact that EA is a greedy company, it's been known for years. Now, I know what you're all going to say, but it's supposed to be a moment of pride when you unlock the heroes in Battlefront 2. Yeah, but the problem is it's designed to be a grind. And there's also a system where you can buy your way closer. Now, I know what you're all going to say, how the microtransactions are effectively... Optional, and some people don't even buy the loot boxes in, in the end. But my question here is, why? Why, EA? I mean, the heroes were available in the original Battlefront that you guys made about three years ago now. Now, in the next game you make, Battlefront 2, you effectively lot put them behind the frickin' credit wall. So you can either grind. Now, mind you, now the grind takes about 10 hours. Now, that's just base gameplay. 10 fucking hours of base gameplay. And... Oh, and not only base... And it's base gameplay. And also in the... Like I said, base gameplay. Not loading screens. Not waiting. Base fucking gameplay. Now I know you're all gonna be like, oh, I, oh, I'm pretty sure you probably enjoyed the the system in Halo Reach, and I I didn't mind it. Like I said, Halo Reach. I mean, Halo Reach had it freaking cosmetics. Battlefront Two originally had it so you could unlock characters. And avoid long grinds. This is what's causing the gaming community to falter. It's time for all gamers to rise up and say no to this shit. It's time to make gaming great again. Fuck you. Every gaming... Com every gaming... Dev... that Every gaming company that includes microtransactions in your games... Except if you say Titanfall 2 or T or or 2K Sports. 2K Sports I can understand, so you can upgrade your actual character and make them stronger. But Titanfall 2 is also cosmetic. But I know what you're all gonna say. But the loot boxes aren't that bad. You don't have to pay in world in get, you don't have to spend real world money to get the currency. Take a look at COD points from Black Ops 3. COD points. You can buy those with real money. It's bullshit. Not only that, next year, not only do they have to... If you want Modern Warfare Remastered, you have to get Infinite Warfare. But also, you know what they do? They add, mana, they add the loot boxes... Into a game that didn't have loot boxes and microtransactions. Everyone said, oh, it's probably cosmetics. But, whoops, someone must have messed up the code because weapons are in the loot boxes. 
<sighs> so, that's all for me on this microtransaction thing. Microtransactions need to die. Let's make gaming great again. And that's all I got. Goodbye.